Blessings of tear be upon you. Sir Naval has told me of your predicament, and it so happens that I have need of a squire. This is unusual, to say the least. Usually prospective squires spend months, even years, proving themselves before they are permitted to enter the nobility. But Captain Brelena and Sir Naval both vouch for your character and your ability, and I have heard of your exploits in the city as well. Still. Count yourself lucky to avoid years of caring for my horse and scouring the rust from my arms and armor. Your need is great, so I'll take you as my charge. I am Sir Grayson Corrit. My sword is sworn to Nasher, Neverwinter, and Tyr, and it falls to me to teach you chivalry, so that you will not dishonor me overmuch as your knight. Good. You appear capable of defending yourself, so we'll not discuss that. The Brotherhood of Knights is one bound by the ideals of chivalry and honor. Without honor, a knight is nothing more than an animal with a sword. To be a knight is to lead a life of duty and responsibility. We are bound by a code that prescribes our every action. To be brave and valorous in battle against your enemies. To show no fear in their presence. To be just and righteous to embody and uphold the laws of your lord and land, to be respectful to your enemies and kind to your fellows, to protect the weak and those who cannot defend themselves. All squires have these rules impressed upon them by rote and lash, but I suspect that you are mature enough to take the lesson without the cuffing. Knowing the code of conduct is important for a knight or squire, but living by that code is paramount. To be a knight is also to live a life of service to your lord and realm. You will be expected to perform certain duties for the crown. Given your unique circumstance, these duties will be waiting for you after the trial. However, there is one observance that cannot be postponed. The vigil. Your vigil is a time for reflection and contemplation. It is a sacred tradition. All who would become squires spend a night in the Solace Glade. You must spend the night alone, of course. Most choose to reflect on their vows or to ask the blessing of their gods. On the next morning, I will welcome you into our brotherhood. Come then, I will lead you to the Solace Glade. Quora yet lives. You swore to me the Hostower would handle this. We did and we shall. I merely wished you to be here when the ritual took place, so you can see it for yourself. Have you brought what I asked? Yes. Here is a hair from one of the pillows she slept on at the Academy, and here is a thread from one of her robes she left behind as well. Excellent. Yes, these will do. I can begin at once, but I shall also need a drop of blood from you to power this ritual. My blood? Why? Only from the blood of one strengthened by justice can justice be done. Very well, but this stinks of necromancy. Nothing of the sort. Necromancy is so obvious. No subtlety. This is something much different. I am calling an elemental. Fueled by Quara herself. A reflection, if you will. Drawing from the same fire, the same blood. I think she will find this Animas Elemental more than a match for her. When will it be sent after her? Patience, my lord. Where she walks, this Elemental shall soon find its way there. Every knight and squire of Neverwinter has touched this sacred ground. To Helm, to Tempest, to Torm, and to Tyr have prayers been given. Think on that. Think on the fellowship you wish to join. Perhaps clear your mind and think of nothing. I will return in the morning, and you will greet the new day as my squire. Indeed. I take my leave of you and your thoughts. Are you here? I can barely see anything out here.
Look, the way trouble follows you, there's no way I'd let you come out here alone. You really believe this stuff, don't you? Maybe I was wrong about knights. Well, I'm training just like you are. My mentor told me to follow his lead, so here I am. If you think I'm leaving now, think again. Anyway, I doubt I could find my way back to Neverwinter in the dark. Plus, I wanted to see if any of the gods would want to inflict further punishment on you. Hey, did you hear something? I didn't expect the girl to be here. We'll spare her the grief of crying over your corpse and kill her as well. I'm right here, you know. Why don't you try? We're the ones who've been sent to kill you, Squire. Try not to die too quietly. You will. We won't both want. Salah's Blade, huh? Talk about a poor name choice. Those men came out of nowhere. Don't you ever spend one night in peace? I believe that. Hey, the leader there. He's got a ring on his finger. It's a circle with teeth or spikes. Could be, I suppose. It's hard to tell with all the blood. Here, you take the ring. I don't want to hold on to it. Look, maybe I better slip away before your knight returns. I don't want you getting into any trouble. Sure. Actually, in some ways, it was kind of fun. Good luck. And hopefully when we see each other again, you'll be Neverwinter's newest squire. What happened? No doubt they caught wind of our plan and saw this as their last chance to judge you as they wished. Either way, their efforts have failed, and that is all that matters. I take you as my squire, and bind you to the service of the throne of Neverwinter. This title also admits you into the nobility. For truly, there can be no charge nobler than protecting one's home from those who would threaten it. Come, Nasha should be informed of your change in station. Sir Grayson, a pleasure to see you. It is my honor to serve, my lord. What brings you here? You look troubled. My lord, it has come to my attention that this man stands accused of murder and is to be given over to Luskin for trial. What you have heard is true. Is that why you are here? I am here because this man is my squire and must be tried by your hand and the will of the gods alone. What is this nonsense? This knight has no squire. I would choose your words carefully, Ambassador, lest I think you were accusing one of my knights of speaking lies. I only hear the words of a man shielding a murderer. Then let the accused speak. What say you? Does my knight speak truly? Are you his squire? Then it is true. That means this squire will be tried here, Ambassador, not within Luskin's walls. There is no justice in this, but I was a fool to expect justice in Neverwinter. Seeing that gloating smile strip from her face pleases me more than you will know. <sighs> but this has bought only a little more time. Time we cannot afford to waste. We must find the truth of what happened at Ember, and quickly. But you cannot do so here. You have my leave to depart Neverwinter, provided you give your word to return for the trial. Travel to Port Last. Someone there can guide you to Ember. Then return with whatever you can that will prove your innocence. It would be wise to speak to Hieromos in Port Last. He is said to be a fair man and vigilant of his people and the lands around. 
We'll see, yeah? You are to be congratulated on joining the service of Neverwinter and its knights. Serve Neverwinter, and it will serve you. For now, go to Port Last. It should be marked upon your map. Once there, see about visiting Ember as well. Keep your resolve. I am confident you will expose the truth of this matter soon enough. And after this trial, I will have more duties for you. Yes. Perhaps so.
I concur. and let's head out. Stay close. It's step where I step. Ah, you have returned. You still have the shard, don't you? Make your visit brief. You put us all at risk with your return. Did not take long for our foe to discover that you had left. I fear you must have faced him on the road to Neverwinter. Does he still hunt you? Agith Yankee. I've heard their names mentioned only once or twice in passing. Invaders from the Outer Plains. A fierce foe. I sense one task only led to another. Such is the way. What seems a simple thread is often part of a complex tapestry. When she was a little older than you, adventure sought her out as well. We met in a tavern and were drawn together by mutual necessity. There were others with us, and some tales of our adventures were told. But not all such stories end well. One day we both realized that of the original band, only we were left. I had had enough of death, especially of those close to me. Your mother was spun of a different silk and maintained her vitality in spite of loss. When I settled in West Harbor with my Shayla, she would visit us from time to time. A heart can heal over time. I had become content. One day, when Esmeralda returned, she was thick with child. You. Those were... good times. Before you ask, she never mentioned any details about your father. And in my homeland, we respect such silence. Then, I lost everything. Again, I cannot speak of this anymore. Please, leave me. Ah, I heard you came back, yes? I'm afraid my new apprentice is barely adequate. You probably are here for some sort of reason, I imagine. None. We haven't seen or heard of them since- I suspect that you, however, saw more of them, yes? Whatever you took from the village is the only thing they cared about. Very well, but be quick about it.
Saul, the great hero, returns. Been watching out for danger, like I said? And what about that swamp elf? See it yet? Swamp elf? Ah, I see you have. <laughs> Look at him. A little smaller than I expected, though. For a giant. <laughs> Looks close enough, I suppose. And I thought you were the only fool to be spawned from West Harbor. But here we are, not long in your village, and already this fellow proves me wrong. <laughs> Where'd you pick this one up?
I'm surprised you have the courage to show your face here. A lot of people here had friends in Ember. If they find out who you are... You're free to conduct your business here. But you'll be watched. If you have questions, ask them now. I'm a busy man. Falgor said that, did he? That's none of his affair. Nor is it any of yours. Out of the question. She's been through enough. And besides, you won't like what she has to say. Very well. You may question the witness, but you shall do it in my presence. Bring the girl here. Yes, Captain. Chandra? Chandra, is that you? Elaine, you survived. Thank the gods. Chandra! It was horrible. They butchered everyone. Elaine, it's all right. Shh. Look, I brought people to help. We'll get to the bottom of this. You! Chandra, it's... it's him! Why would you bring him here? I saw you murder those people. No, Elaine, it's not true. I know what I saw. They had no weapons. Some even surrendered. But he... he... That's right, Elaine. We're here to help, all right? It was trade season, and the shipments into Ember had fallen off. I had decided to trade along the South Roads. When I came back to Ember, I heard the screams and saw the smoke. I left my wagon and went into town. That's when I saw the bodies. I saw him kill the quartermaster while he was on his knees, begging for his life. You saw this man here do the killing blow? And was it just him? And where did he... Sand! We don't have all year, girl. Nor do I have the patience when the trail of these killers grows colder. There were others, but I didn't see them closely. I ran as hard as I could to Port Last, and they took me in. But you did do it. Or someone that looked the part. There are many magics that can cloak one's appearance even allow one to change shape. I know what I saw. I suppose it's possible, but I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. I just started running. I guess they didn't notice me. You were lucky, hmm? Or perhaps they let you escape. You had about a dozen of your friends with you. But I don't recognize anyone with you now. A dozen, you say? Interesting. Do go on. Well, no. I believe they were all human. Well, considering that those two and the gnome account for at least half of us, that might seed some doubt. More than half in spirit. Yes, you keep telling yourself that. But you 
could have just hired others. Yes, my dear. But as your hesitation suggests, why would anyone do that when they have trusted allies who would follow one anywhere, despite their common sense? Uh, no offense. I'm sorry to have put you through this, Elaine. Guard, please see that she reaches her quarters safely. Listen to me. If we can get her to work for us, her story of tears will sway the court in our favor. Elaine's not some tool, Sand. She's just survived the massacre of her town, which someone caused to get to us. Girl, if we do not use your friend, the Luskins will, and they will use her testimony to kill our friend here. So, please dispense with your convenient morality. Either we use her, or they do. What brings you before me? A Luskin Archmage of some power, not someone you want to cross. Like many of the Arcane Brotherhood, Black Garius aspires to rule, regardless of what harm it may cause. I think you will find that attitude common among most of the Hostower, and Garius in particular. What worries me is that he may succeed. He's amassing power at a pace I dislike. I suspect his brothers are beginning to grow wary of him. Of course, the Luskins would lay claim to our harbor for their warships. Having secured such a prominent location, they could mount a swift attack on Neverwinter. Or Waterdeep, for that matter. They talk of a peaceful coexistence, but I know their words to be false. Luskins... Difficulties with Ruithim may have come at a fortunate time. As long as Luskin is at war with their island neighbor, they cannot turn their attention elsewhere. I'm no common magistrate with idle time to chatter about village life. I'll be happy to discuss the finer points of Port Last with you when you're no longer a suspected mass murderer. So be it.
won't both want. <laughs>
Conforos.
Lei mi vuol crema. Corri con Poru. A Bio no. We won't both walk away from this. Carrying all this junk. I can't move carrying all this junk. Yes. Perhaps so. How can I help?
Yes. Hmm. What? Everybody, follow me! Listening, really. Perhaps so. I think it is time everyone marched behind me, your new goo- Follow me, everyone. Grab a buddy and let's head out. How can I help? Yeah? Hmm, what? How can I help? What brings you before me? A Luskin Archman. Like many of I think- What worries me is that he may succeed. He's amassing power at a pace I dislike. I suspect his brothers are beginning to grow weary.
Oh, yes. <laughs>